Hello kiddos, it's Being Evil Step Teacher here with something new today, which is how to answer a question. Not just how to answer a question, but how to do it properly for school, for anywhere, okay? You don't want to sound like you don't know what you're doing and you're not so smart. So here's how you're going to do it properly. Now, your real answer, your properly constructed answer is going to have three sections your introduction and your topic sentence, your supporting proof, have to have proof, and your conclusion where you tie it all together. Got it? So let's go over each of those. Now, with your introduction and your topic sentence, you might want to start off with the hook, like I have written up here, and you might say, but why? Well, why not? If a hook is going to draw your reader in and hook them and do what a hook is supposed to do, why not? It's only going to make your answer better. So throw one in there. Then use the question to formulate your answer. All right. Now, that means this question, whatever the question is. If the question is, you know, I don't know, uh, why was Harry Potter scared of the basilisk? Okay, first of all, basilisk is pretty scary. But anyways, so I'm going to use that part of that question. Why was Harry scared? I'm going to say Harry was scared because I'm going to finish my sentence and I'll offer my proof with some examples, okay? But I'm going to use that question. Now, if the question asks, um, what did the fire symbolize in chapter 13? All right, well, I'm going to say in chapter 13, the fire was a symbol for the burning away of the old life of the character. And so now I'd make a prediction that they will move on to a new section in their life. But I use the question to formulate my answer. That's going to help keep you focused. All right. Now, once you've got your answer, we have to prove it. So let's look at that. Now, those of you who have worked with me know proof, proof, proof. And those of you who haven't worked with me, let me tell you something. Nobody wants your idea. You're not an expert. That means you have to prove it. And even if you were an expert, people are going to expect that you're going to have proof to support what you say. So proof, you got to have it. All right. So different ways you can have your proof, but you should have at least three, minimum, three bits of supporting proof. Okay. Now they may be quotes from books you're reading. If you get them from the internet, make sure they're from reputable sources, okay? You can't believe everything you read out there, right? It could be conclusions you've drawn, inferences you're making, predictions you're making. Why are you making them? Okay, specific examples. Data is always good. If you have numbers to support what you're saying, support it with numbers, okay? Another powerful way to support what you're saying is to pose an, an alternative point of view or a non, give a non-example, and then explain why it's not an example. Explain why it's not proof for what you're trying to say. That way, if somebody does have an opposing point of view, you might just bring them around. All right? Explain why it's incorrect. They'll come around to your way of thinking, hopefully. All right? But you have to have this proof. Without the proof, you're just somebody with an idea. Nobody wants your ideas. Now, once you've got your answer and your proof, your audience knows what you've said. Now you need to give them a little recap, okay? A little summary, restating what your answer is, going back over your proof, and you know what? Throw in a final hook or a, a, some thought that's going to tie everything together, something that's going to stick in their brain long after they've read what you've written, okay? That's what's going to make them remember you. That's what's going to make your uh, answer all the better. Okay, it has to stick in someone's mind. So, now that you have your three sections, you should have a good answer. Now, don't forget to go back over though. Make sure you do have an introduction and top sentence. Make sure you do have supporting proof. And make sure you have a conclusion. If you have all that, your answer is going to rock. So go rock the world.